Disclosures on NSA surveillance have led to damaging relations with Europe. Good evening. This is CTV News. I'm Makia Turner. And I'm Rochelle Metzger. Well, Maryland Congressman Elijah Cummings says the latest accusations that the National Security Agency is spying on people through their communications on Yahoo and Google should be investigated. A series of documents stolen from the agency by former contractor Edward Snowden revealed the information. The details indicate that the agency mapped the activity and connections of overseas intelligence targets and people in the U.S. through email, social media, and other sources. The NSA has denied the allegations. Represent Representative Cummings says the issue needs to be looked at more closely. We don't even know the full extent of this. And I think it's, it's, it's about time that we figure it out. I, I have a feeling that we have a, um, a monster that we are not able to control right now. And we need to, but first we've got to figure out all the damage that's being done, how many people are being spied on and trying to address it. Earlier this year, the NSA was in the spotlight over accusations that it listened, listened in on domestic and international phone calls. Well, as frustration builds among U.S. allies over looming spy allegations, a dozen European members of parliament traveled to Annapolis to learn about the state's legislature. This group traveled thousands of miles to learn how the Merlin General Assembly works and how the county's House delegation operates. Delegate Jolene Ivey and others explained the system, spoke about the legislature's recent accomplishments, and then opened the floor for questions. In the states is a little bit less adversarial than it is on a federal level in the Congress where everything is now blocked and there is a huge difficulty in getting any bipartisan cooperation. So I wanted to ask you whether that's true. The uh, bipartisanship, I've been in office uh, 19 years, that is five four-year terms and one more year on this cycle. And when I first came here, um, I would say there was a more of a spirit of bipartisanship. It still exists at the state level. There's probably five or ten issues, regardless of party, as a candidate or as an elected official, you have to take a position and kind of stick to it. The way I see it, the difference between Maryland and Capitol Hill, the biggest difference is that Democrats control both houses here in Maryland by a very comfortable margin. So if there's an issue um, that we disagree with the Republicans on, and for example, same-sex marriage was definitely one of those. There were a few people who bled over to either side. Ivy says she hopes the group will leave with this clear message in mind. Well, it is possible to get things done, to get along with each other, even if you disagree on some basic issues, you can find what brings you together and advance uh, things for the best for your constituents. Parliament members visited from at least five European countries, including Spain, Germany, and Hungary. Well, Governor Martin O'Malley brings Marylanders and elected officials up to speed on the progress of several key initiatives. O'Malley hosted the Better Choices, Better Results Forum on Sustainability at the North Laurel Community Center this afternoon. He highlighted much of the state's success in restoring the health of the Chesapeake Bay, as well as recovering 100 percent of jobs lost during the recession. Maryland is also number one in the nation for agricultural land preservation. We've taken some major steps together uh, to improve the health of the Bay. We've planted more trees. We've created green print. We've planted, uh, we've uh, implemented a watershed pollution control plan. Uh, we've uh, made progress on goals to reduce energy consumption, to dial up the renewables. And none of these things that we're going to recap here in our brief time together, none of these things happened by chance. They were all the choices that we made together. Under the O'Malley-Brown administration, Marylanders have benefited from a strong, coordinated effort to clean up the bay and other waterways. Now, central to that effort have been the state's measurable benchmarks to hold itself accountable. Today's forum is the third of its kind. If you weren't able to tune in online, you can catch up on all of the stats by logging on to Maryland.gov.